Hey everyone, it's Duke here at developerinspirats.io. Welcome back to Daily Challenge. In this Daily Challenge, I'm going to show you how to use an UI Activity View Controller. Well, what is UI Activity View Controller? It is the thing that allows you to share some of the contents, let's say some text, some messages, some image, videos, etc. Okay, so here's what our app will look like after this video tutorial. We will have a very simple text field and we can enter some text into this and we can press the share button. If I don't enter any text and still uh, tap the share button, there will be an alert view shows me that I will need to enter some text and then press the share button. Okay, and let's say I press hello, hello world okay that's time like that and then i hit return then the keyboard will disappears we will review about that okay and we'll also review about how to put an alert view into the view controller like that and then i hit share okay and then ios will automatically uh, prompt me some of the sharing contents with this specific text and now there will be a lot more sharing um, content if you are using on your phone or your simulator that attach to different kinds of services. Let's say iMessage or SMS, emails, Facebook, Twitter. Here I have only Twitter and email. Okay. And we have tons of more services. But right now on my simulator, there will be mail, Twitter, and I can copy it. And let's say I want to Twitter this. Okay, and then it will prompt me very nice Twitter effect like that. And I can post it right now, but let's just cancel it. Okay. All right. So let's get into this and learn how to use a UI activity view, con uh, view controller. Um, where's my Xcode? There you go. So here is our starter project. You can go download this starter project in the link right below at developerinspirates.il. Okay. So let's spend a moment downloading the project. Okay, I hope that you download the project and follow me along. All right, so let's explore what is it in this uh, starter project. I don't want to spend other time like building the car, uh, building some of the UI control. So let's go with the main storyboard. We have only one text field and the share button. And these are auto layout. And the special thing about the text field is the delegate of this, I assign it to this view controller. Okay. So that's why in this view controller, we will have to conform to UI text field delegate. So the first thing I'm going to do is I will implement the method in UI text field delegate. And you want to review. Let's, let's go back to this. And the UI text field delegate has the U text field should return. And it says, can't when the return key has pressed. Return no to ignore. But I want to return yes. And I also want to disappear the keyboard, right? So let's do this. I will start to type func um, text field should return. And here I will do something like um, if text field, the text field in this one, this one, right? Equals equals self dot text field just to be shared, safe. And then I would do text field dot resign first responder, meaning the keyboard. I want to resign it, meaning I want to hide the keyboard. And then we would do return true. Yes, please return it. Okay. And this is a Boolean value, a return from the text field. Okay. All right. So we also have a share button tapped. This is an IB action connected to the share button. Okay. And we have the text field over there. That's why we're using self dot text field. Okay. And now let's go into the share button tapped and, and do something with this. Okay. Well, what if the text field is empty, right? So if the text field is empty, I will not allow the user to share it. So I would do if text fields dot text is empty, then I would do I would put an alert view, put an alert view into this and tell the tell the user that she or he 
will need to enter some text. And so I'm going to do let message, let message equals please enter some text to share with the world. Okay. And then I will put an alert view into this. Now let's review about alert view, okay? And I don't want, I don't have to use an um, alert view property like that in the previous daily challenge, but because I just have to do it locally like this. Alert view controller equals UI alert view controller. Controller. I'm sorry, UI alert controller. And we have the title. What is the title? Maybe, oops, <laughs> the message is message. Prefer style is alert. Okay, I hope that you remember that. And we will do alert controller dot. Maybe this should be alert controller. I don't want it to be alert view controller. So alert controller dot add action. And we want to add an action into this. And so I will create an UI alert action on the fly in here. So we do alert UI alert action. And this one also has the title. The title is okay. Okay. The style is default. And the handler nil. Okay, we don't care about the handler. And then we will put this presented as present view controller and alert controller. Animated true completion nil. Okay, we don't care about the completion. So now, now let's test this one. Go away. Okay, so here's our app so far. And if I do this, return the keyboard disappears. That's good. And I hit share. Oh, we have an alert view. That's good. Now let's try to type hello and share. Nothing happened. So now we will implement that when we have some text, we will share it with the world, right? So let's do this. So here, if the text field is empty, we will put an alert view. Else, if the text field is not empty, meaning that there is some text to share, I will start putting an uh, UI activity view controller into the view, okay? And to do that, I will have a property. So let's have a var activity view controller equals not equal UI activity view controller and right okay okay so in here I will start to create create an instance of UI activity view controller and this one is special because we only need to pass then two things the first thing is activity items okay so we will do create an instance of UI activity activity view controller, okay, view controller. And we need to pass in two things. The first thing is activity, activity items. And this is an array, an array of what we want to share. And if you want to share some images, you can share some images. And if you want to share both the text and the images, you can put it into an NS array, right? Now, um, the second parameter of the constructor of the UI activity view controller is application activities. Application activities, activities. And this one is the your app sharing uh, services, okay? And meaning that let's say you have a specific sharing services you want to implement, you have it, but um, you don't want to use the iOS suggested services. So you use this. In this case of our app, we will pass it as nil because we want the user, we want the iOS to um, do whatever it needs to do, show us whatever it wants to show us, to share with the world, okay? So I would do activity view controller equals UI activity view controller. And we have activity item. Now, what is this item? It is the text of the text field, right? So, and it is an array. So I would do an array like that. 
and now I would do text field dot text okay but the spa the, the the weird thing about the UI activity view controller is that if you want to share text and if it is of type string in Swift iOS will not may may not uh, provide you all of the services that it has so what we want to do is we will cast it as an add string okay not question mark we will cast it as an add string we will have to do that and for here we will do nil all right and then very simple i will present view controller and we'll do activity view controller and animate to true completion nil okay all right that's it believe it or not so let's run this okay so it still works as before let's enter this hello world and hit return share okay it takes a while there we go let's hit mail okay there we go okay it's very very simple right now we can do twitter i hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial leave me a comment or question below and i will be reviewing comments and answering questions personally if you want free ios courses visit me at developerinspirus.io create an account and join our free courses until next time go out there learn new things create new products and contribute to the world